Hey, my name is Jasmine Skye, and I'm here today with the start of another revision vlog, which hopefully you guys aren't getting tired of these, but I just feel like being very transparent about how many revisions books need to go through even once you get an agent in order to get a book deal and revisions that hopefully if I get a book deal one day I will also have to go through with my future editor so like that's that's part of what this channel is about also I just love making vlogs so it works out for me personally but anyway today I'm here uh, on the heels of my draft 5 revision, which I will link both videos of my draft 5 revision below. I'm working on a witch YA fantasy novel. I have been working on it since November 2019. I got an agent in August 2020, and this is my second full draft since getting an agent. I turned it in to my agent on Sunday the 10th, and now it is Saturday the 16th. My agent has gotten back to me as well as both CPs that I also gave it to when I turned in that really really big draft 5 developmental revision and now I'm here to do a polishing of draft 5 so we're gonna call this draft 5.5 and it's not a huge developmental revision there are a couple chapters that need some pretty heavy work but on the whole it's really just a polish it's really just you know, adding that little bit of spark to kind of turn it up a notch and make sure that it is the best version of this developmental revision that it can be so that hopefully it can sell. So that's the plan. I only have 10 days, technically nine days. I was supposed to start working yesterday, but I got really distracted because I'm an AMM mentor. So I've been working on selecting my mentee for author mentor match and uh, that's been really fun but now I need to focus back in on my own writing and get this done in the next nine days though if it takes me a little over nine days my agent is okay with that she wants me to put in the quality not rush it so that's totally fine but hopefully it won't take me super super long to get this polish done especially because I have a three-day weekend this weekend I work for a university so I get MLK day off which is this coming Monday so hopefully I can get a ton done this weekend and the hardest parts of this revision are going to be at the beginning of the novel it's like chapters five and six are the ones that probably need to be basically completely overhauled because they they just did it it's like the chat that break into act two is is the weakest area of the novel right now the area that needs another facelift uh with this polish so i should get that done this three-day weekend and then it should be smooth sailing for the rest of the book so that is what's going on it is late now but I made it through the first three chapters of my book uh, with this polishing revision. So that was exciting. I don't think I'm gonna worry about giving you guys word count with this because there's just much less in terms of like rewriting. So the word count of each chapter shouldn't change much at all. The only rewriting, like I already said, is gonna be um, that break into act two, those couple chapters there, like chapter five, six, seven area. It's not gonna be completely rewritten, but it needs to be a little rearranged, and then some of it will need to be cut and rewritten. Other than that, I mean, my experience in the first three chapters is just a lot of like rereading, going through the notes, little tweaking to make sure that my world building is clear and kind of like adding a little bit of tension back in because that was the biggest critique of draft five is that in this big developmental revision I did from draft four to five, what I changed was good, but it did cut the tension a bit. Um, but I had a four hour brainstorming session with my agent about how to add it back in. So that's what I'm doing, but it's not really taking that much. It's just like a very small additions here and there. Um, and that's really enough. So anyway, the point is I'm through the first three chapters. I am pushing on to chapters four and five tomorrow. But for now, I'm gonna go to bed and I will check in with y'all in the morning. It is Sunday the 17th of January and I just finished going through chapter four, tweaking it, making the 
the tension set up stronger as I'll be doing for all of this. And now I'm on to chapter five, which is gonna take quite a lot of work, but I've got mm, like two hours till dinner. So um, I'm hoping that that'll be enough for me to finish chapter five. It only actually took me about an hour to revise chapter five, so that was great. I think it's better for sure. Kind of cut out some of the dead weight to keep the keep the pacing up and keep the tension going. Uh, so hopefully my agent agrees and likes it. And now I'm on to chapter six, which actually the first half of chapter six I don't think needs to change at all. But then starting with the second half and then chapter seven are where the biggest changes are coming. It is Monday the 18th, MLK Day, um, and I spent most of the day working on author mentor match stuff. So I only just started writing like 30 minutes ago, and now I have to go do dinner. But I did, I realized I messed something up uh, continuity wise because of the tweaking I did. So I had to go back to chapter five and I like added like 200 words there. And then I did do the first two thirds of chapter six. So that was a decent amount of work actually for like the last, I guess it's been more like 45 minutes, 50 minutes um, that I've been working on this. So um, I do have to write a completely new scene for this last third of chapter six, which I will do after dinner. And then I will push through into chapter seven, which also needs quite a bit of work, um, but that should be fun. I should be able to do that after dinner without a problem. It's, um, it's not even that late. It's like 9.30, but I don't feel good. I've had kind of a low key headache all day and it just blossomed <laughs> in the last like two hours into just oof, oof, oof. I am also um, am feeling a little congested so it might be like a cold and maybe that's, you know, all related, but yeah, it's, it's not fun. Um, I am so close to being done with chapter six, but I, I, I just can't concentrate on writing right now. Like it's just, my head is not gonna let me do that. So, um, I'm not happy to have only written, I mean, I guess in a sense I wrote a chapter, I revised a chapter today cause I, had to go back to the end of chapter five and then I went through most of chapter six, but, um, excuse me. Yes. Hopefully it's just a cold. Um, anyway, um, um, what was I saying? I think I've selected my AMM mentee. I just finished reading the full. Uh, I kind of skimmed through it earlier and I was pretty sure I was gonna select this one, uh, but I just read through it um, in more detail because that was the only thing I could get my brain to concentrate on the last couple hours. Uh, and so that is productive. I now know, like 99% sure that I know who I will be mentoring for Author Mentor Match. So. That's successful, um, but yes, I'm gonna end up falling behind on the revision side of things. Luckily, as I've said, I I don't I don't think I'm gonna struggle too too much, especially like in some of these chapters. They should really be like a very quick, easy fixes. So. Um, you know, the hardest chapters, as I've said, are six and seven, and I'm almost done with six, and then I gotta push through, you know, and do seven tomorrow. Um, but then I can probably pretty easily do like eight, nine, 10 on Wednesday, and 11, 12, 13 on 
Thursday and I'll be basically caught up. So yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. Hello everyone. It's um, the 19th uh, Tuesday and I just finished revising chapter six and seven. So that was good. Today was like just insanely busy and I need to go now because um, I've got an Among Us lobby that's waiting on me. Uh, so we're gonna leave it there. It's late on Wednesday. I realized that yesterday, I think it, it was late and I just wanted to give you a quick update, but I forgot that I had planned on telling you guys that I felt fine yesterday, like despite feeling quite um, cruddy on Monday. Turns out the cruddiness was because a storm rolled in Monday night and I tend to get like pressure headaches and sinus stuff when there's gonna be a, a storm coming in. But once the storm hits, I'm fine. So it's been raining the last couple days, um, but it's that's fine because it's, I, I'm over and done with. The cruddiness is done. So it's been good. So, um, which is good because work has been been a lot. Four day weeks are just, they can be, they can be a bit tough, but we're okay. I'm hoping that tomorrow's going to be an easier day than the last couple days have been. So I'm going to try to take a long lunch break like I um, like to do when I'm doing this kind of writing revision situation um, so that I can get some stuff done before it's nighttime. Uh, but today I had to write after dinner again, which is just always hard to like get myself started. Once I start writing after dinner, it tends to flow pretty fast, but getting started after dinner, I'm like tired and I don't want to do anything. So it takes me a while to like actually convince myself to, to get, to get going. That's what happened tonight and last night. And now it's quite late, but I managed to get two chapters done. I did eight and nine, and they were both great. I, I feel, uh, I, uh, I think I'm gonna end up, I was at like almost exactly 93,000 with the last draft, and I feel like this draft's gonna be maybe like a thousand more just spread out along the various chapters. Like a couple chapters I cut from, but I've added more to other chapters like these last two than I have cut from the chapters I cut from. So, but that's okay. It's, that's, it, it's fine. I'm still at a really, really good word count. I'm under 95K, which like, that was such a huge thing to do with this last draft. Uh, so I'm, I'm good, I'm happy. Anyway, I'm just rambling. I should go like get ready for bed and stuff, but I think my plan tomorrow is I'm gonna try to do like chapter 10 over lunch and then 11 and 12 like before or after dinner um, so that I can get you know three chapters done tomorrow instead of just two because I'm going to need to do three tomorrow and like maybe Friday or Saturday you know so that I can catch up because wait hold on let me do the math I'm on 10 I've got 10 now I guess I have 11 left because you have to count chapter 20 I have 11 left, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and four days, which means I need to do two, four, six, eight, three, six, nine, twelve. I need to do three on all days but one, actually. That's good to know. I am just finishing up my lunch break and I finished chapter 10 which is good. And um, I still plan to do 11 and 12 today. I don't think they'll be too difficult. Nothing so far has been very difficult though. So it's going well, which is good because it's a pretty tight, tight schedule. It's after dinner. It's quite a bit after dinner now, um, but I, I feel like I'm developing a migraine from looking at the screen. It's just staring at things all day for work and it's like really hard to look at a screen right now. So I took a shower 
to see if that would help, but I, I really feel like there's a migraine building and I don't want to have a migraine. So I'm gonna have to not write tonight, which, you know, isn't great. I mean, at least I got one chapter done today, so it's not like I'm totally skipping a day. Uh, but, you know, that is what it is. Tomorrow's gonna be a really busy day at work, um, so we'll see how much I get done. But on the plus side, I've got a lot of time Saturday, Sunday, and this revision has been going really well. Like, any individual chapter has not taken me that long, um, except for the, the chapters six and seven that, like, needed a ton of work. But even they weren't as long as, like, having to completely write a new chapter. And nothing in these last ten chapters um, should should be like that. It's really just some tweaking, some polishing. So I'm not that worried. Um, and also, I know that if I need to give it late, Mary will be fine with that. Hello there, it is Friday the 22nd, and uh, I have to go do dinner, but I just spent this hour and a half after work before dinner um, doing three chapters of my book. So that was real successful and feeling feeling pretty solid about this um, and it feels nice to get that done early today because I've got a virtual date scheduled with my girlfriend so I'm <laughs> gonna go do that tonight but even though I fell a little bit behind yesterday I think it'll be great because it's flowing really well I can definitely do four chapters tomorrow because it's, it's a chunk of the book that kind of all flows into the, itself really well um, and that'll be good, and then I'll have the last three chapters saved for Sunday, and then I'll reread the book and send it to my agent, and we're, we're flying! Hello there. It's Saturday after dinner, and I was quite lazy today, and, um, did not write until now. <laughs> so I'm doing my four chapters that I plan to do today now. And that's fine. It's fine. I just did chapter 14, so I'm already on the way. Feeling good and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pushing on. I have made it through chapter 16, which was kind of a lot other than those early chapter five, six, seven area. 16 was my largest revision, um, specifically the first scene of 16. I needed to rewrite quite a lot of it. So that was, yeah, that was a lot. I think I'm actually gonna stop there for the night. That was three chapters. I know I said I'd do four, but I think I'll just do 17 through 20 tomorrow, for tomorrow instead. Um, because, you know, this is, this is the end now and it all, all f goes bam, 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 bam. And, uh, I don't know. I think I, I think I just want to end with what I just did instead of pushing on one more chapter. So I plan to write in the morning tomorrow. I'm going to do 17 through 20 before lunch if I can, maybe a little bit after lunch depending on how slowly I'm going, but I'm gonna really try to start early enough that I could finish them before lunch. And then I'll take a break for lunch, uh, maybe take a nap or something, and then I will reread my entire book before dinner and send it off. Also, I wanna re-dye my hair tonight because the red that you saw in my last vlog faded real bad, but it's because I wasn't using the right type of shampoo. So I re-bought the same red hair dye and the right type of red shampoo. So I'm gonna re-dye my hair tonight and then I have the right shampoo, so hopefully it stays. But at least for my last day of this vlog tomorrow, you'll get to see the fun coppery red hair instead of this kind of like orange tinted hair instead. <laughs> Good morning, it is Sunday the 24th and I just finished the last 
four chapters of my book, which was exciting. It is just before noon, so I was successful in getting that done this morning, and I made myself emotional <laughs> because, you know, the ending. Um, but definitely I want to reread the whole thing this afternoon and make sure that it flows and it does what it's supposed to and the character arc with the tweaks that I made makes sense, etc, etc. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take a break for lunch and then I'm gonna come back to this and I will give y'all the final stats and my final thoughts and all of that once I reread the book. Hello everyone! It's now late afternoon on Sunday and I have finished going through my book. I think it's good. I think it did what it needs to do. I'm sure there are some things that could be better. There's always things that could be better. And I'm sure there are many typos and grammar mistakes I missed that I did not catch rereading it because that happens uh, even through copy editing sometimes. So, you know, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty excited uh, that, I, that I got here, that this polish is done. And I'm going to send it off to my agent. Hopefully she likes it. And we'll see where we go from there. My final stats, I started this revision at about 93,000 words and I am ending it now at about 95,000. My actual word count is 95,252 words um, and I didn't add a chapter so that extra 2,000 words that I added were just split up throughout all the chapters because when I revise, I don't know how to do anything but expand. The exception being draft five itself, because it was such a big rewrite and I cut a chapter, ended up being shorter. But now 5.5, I've gone back to my old ways. Yeah, hopefully Mary's not too mad because she was really excited by the fact that I had cut it down and now it's, it's back up close to where it was. Not quite, it was more at like 97,000, draft 4.5, I think. So it's still shorter than that. And it's definitely shorter than 100,000, which is like the cap for YA fantasy. So we're okay. But anyway, that was this vlog for y'all. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you have any ideas for videos you'd like me to make talking about the process or fun tags or anything, like please, please, please let me know because right now I'm kind of stalled out on video ideas and hopefully I'll have a break before my next writing vlog so it would be nice to have some ideas for some fun videos I can do. So please let me know that in the comments down below. As always, please check out my description for links to causes that need your support. Please support them. And you can also support my channel by liking or subscribing. And that's that. I look forward to chatting with y'all in the comments. Mm -hmm.